Notion is more than just a note-taking app or project management tool. It's a dynamic platform that combines the flexibility of a blank canvas with powerful organizational features. From creating simple to-do lists to building complex databases and workflows, Notion adapts to your needs and preferences. In this video, I will show you the possibilities of Notion and how you can start using it to organize and manage your life more effectively. And without any further ado, Let's get started. If you want to get started with Notion, you will first need to create an account for it. So I will put a link for it in the video description down below. Here you will create an account on their website. Now to use the Notion, you can use the web version or you can download their clients as well. So the Notion is available right now for Mac OS, for Windows as well. And on the phones, it's also available for Android and iOS. To download the Notion, I will leave a link for it in the video description below. Pause the video right now and download their client. Once you have the client, installed you will see the screen which looks like this or the screen which has one of these pages open. So these here are some of the templates but more on the templates later in the video and also later in the video I will talk about this sidebar on the left. Right now let's talk about the settings and members because this is really really important. On top you will find my account option. Here you will see your name, your email, password, two-step verification and even on your page you can also delete your account or if your device gets stolen you can also log out of all of your devices right here now let's move on to the settings so if you want to use notion in the dark theme or in the light theme you can also change this here so you will just change this option to the dark then you also all have this option open on start and this is basically last visited page or top page in the sidebar so this is the first page which you have here on the sidebar for me it's currently projects. Notion can also open the links in the desktop app or in the web app, whichever you prefer. And you can also configure all of these settings right here. Now let's move on to notifications. So if you want to have notifications on your desktop, you can also disable or enable them right here. And you can also have email notifications, which I currently have disabled. For the My Connections, you can also see here that you can connect to Slack, Google Drive, Figma, and the others as well, like GitHub, GitLab. So you can also connect your Notion profile to the other profiles as well. And you will see basically, for example, Figma designs directly in Notion. Then we have language and region down below. You can also, if you start week on Monday, you can also enable this option as well. People, so you can also invite people to your workspace if you are collaborating and you can just copy the link and then invite the people to your Notion workspace. For the upgrade, Notion app is actually free to use, completely free to use, but if you want some more features, then you can just upgrade to plus version, business version or enterprise version. And Notion actually also introduced Notion AI. So it's like a chat GPT inside Notion. And if you want, you can also upgrade to the premium plan with the Notion AI included by using all the links in the video description below. So for the sign up and for the Notion AI, I will put the links in the video description below. Make sure that you check them out. And here you can also compare all of the features for example the free plan plus plan business plan and enterprise plan and then you can basically value yourself what you think is most appropriate for your needs now let's move on to the connections so as i said you can see here your connections like google drive notion calendar slack and the others which i mentioned before in the video and then you also have here the workspace now we can also even connect the workspace to notion as well but you will need to upgrade to the more premium version of Notion by using the links in the video description below, by the way. Now here down below, you can also import data from other apps to the Notion like Evernote, Word, CSV, PDF, and many others as well. Now let's move on to the templates. So basically the templates are some of the presets for Notion, which you will see straight away when you create your account. So for example, here I have the projects, tasks, getting started, quick notes. So these are some of the templates for Notion. If you want, you can also download download Notion templates from their website as well. So you will just go to here under the product, you will go to the template gallery. And I will also put this link in the video description below, by the way. And then here under the Notion templates, you will pick whichever topic you like, for example, school. And then here you will see many of free templates as well. And some of them are paid, but I think that free ones are also quite good to use. For example, I will go with this first one and then you will click here, get this template. You 
you will need to sign in and then you will get the template inside the Notion app. So I think you will see it here, right here in the sidebar. You can basically create your page here down below. So you can click on add page here. Here you have the heading first. So for example, you will call it work. And on top, you can also add the icon. So let's add something like this books here. And on top, you can also add a cover. For example, you can reposition the cover wherever you like and save the position. You can also change the cover like gallery, which is basically the presets for the covers. You can also upload your own image. You can also link your image or go straight to the Unsplash and pick one image from this website as well. So this is the image cover. And you can also add a comment. For example, this is how your first page actually right now looks like. You also have these three dots and here you can change font style to serif or to the mono. I really like the mono one because I think it looks like a terminal or some kind of the terminal. And then you can also change this to small text, full width and lock the page so you won't be able to add something to it. These are some of the settings for the page. Down below you can also copy the link for the page, duplicate, move to something. And then very important here is you can also connect the page to the workspace or to other apps as well. And then you can also import something to your page as well. Like if you click on import, you can get all of these options for, for example, the PDF. You can also import the PDF and then the Notion will extract the data inside your first page right here. Then you can also export to, let's say, to PDF, to HTML and many others as well. Now here you can then start writing. For example, if you want to invoke AI, for example, you will see right here the options as well. You can ask the AI to write anything. And if you want, you can also, for example, click here, ask AI. You can enable this, improve writing, fix spelling and grammar and other things as well. Really, really useful. If you, for example, don't want to use ChatGPT, you want to use the built-in AI inside the Notion, you can also do that by just clicking on the space. Now, if you want, you can also click on slash and you will see here, you can also add text here. You can even add or embed a sub page inside this page. You can create a to-do list, add a heading, heading two, three, table, bulleted list, numbered list, toggle list, quote, divider, link to page, call out. And then we are already in the Notion AI options. And you can also add images, videos, and many others. If you are interested in Notion, make sure that you check out the links in the video description down below. Actually, one important part as well is that Notion introduced their own calendar application as well. For example, let me just show you how to download their calendar application as well. So here under the download section on the Notion website, you will click on the calendar and now you will be redirected to this page. Now keep in mind that Notion calendar is only available on iOS, macOS and Windows as well. So there is no availability for the app on the Android, unfortunately, but I think they are already working on it for the Android as well. So I think this is pretty much it. I hope you got a quick brief review of Notion or what you can do in Notion notion, how you can use it and how you can basically use the templates and the settings. Make sure that you use the links in the video description below. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.